How's it going, everybody? Kyle Katarn here, ready to react to another episode of Star Wars Rebels. Let's see, last time Chopper got himself hacked by the Imperial Steve Jobs and his friends, leading Hera on a homicidal rampage. She murdered everybody. That was awesome. Okay, twin sons, here we go. They did a really good job of making Tatooine look very desolate and bleak, you know? We would end here like this. No. 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 A straw can be out. Tempt is no heart. All got a plan. Oh. I feel like they've stepped their animation game up a little bit for this episode. The sand particles on the hood. That's good. What is that? Little piece of the holocron. Got some uh, some force antics ahead of us, I think. Beans Master Kenobi could be alive and in danger right now. Ezra, no one would like to believe General Kenobi is alive more than I would. Senator Organa confirmed his death. Mm, okay, so Organa's not sharing his secret power with anybody. This could be a sign. Makes no sense. Or it could just be a broken recording. That doesn't explain why I heard Maul's voice. But you've heard it before. You've heard it before, and it was just a trick. Maul was manipulating you. I don't want to go to Tatooine to check things out. Ah, AP5. Yeah, that calculator's working overdrive these days. Can I see the manifest? Hey, any of the fighters run fully loaded? Well, the trainer's prepped. Been using it a lot lately with the newer recruits. Well, everything seems in order. No surprise there. And off he goes. Why don't you take the moment to... Hey, what are you doing? He's not even alarmed. He's just kind of nonplussed. He's like, Lieutenant, what the hell, man? You work here. You could have just asked me permission. Lieutenant, you're not authorized. Okay, well maybe. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I don't know, it's flying itself. Hera, I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, he is kind of leaving everybody in the lurch right now. They need to plan their defense. That's a great shot. All right. Very reminiscent right. of that, that opening line, the Dead. opening scene from uh, A New Hope. Middle of nowhere. Oh. He's using it like a compass. That's really cool. Creative use of the force. Wait, what? Hey, Chop, take us down. The Sith holocron. Uh oh, Maul's nearby. Now you see. Chop, this is a trap. It's a trap. Yes! <laughs> I believe this is the first time we've seen Tuscan Raiders in an animated pick. Awesome. They're all cycler rifles. Those should not be energy weapons, they usually fire bolts, but they're low tech like that. Maybe they upgraded, maybe we don't even Get him! Get him! There you go, Chopper. Get him with the antifreeze, or whatever that is. I don't think they're flying out of here, guys. Uh -oh. Some people don't like lightsabers. It's gone. It was Monk. It had to be. Yep. He's close. Look, we have to go that way. Maybe you can contact home base. This is a nice little callback to episode four with uh, 3PO and R2 in the desert, too. Yep, yep, there it is. <laughs> Did that droid just exhale? <laughs> yeah, 
Chopper's not doing so good. The gears are all getting rusty, I bet you. Mm -hmm. No! Chop? Chopper! Hey! No! No, 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 no! Hey, don't do this, buddy! Come on! Your chopper will freeze before you reach the third marker. This is my fault. I should have just stayed home. Yeah, probably. I don't know what to do. In moments like this, you're really reminded that Ezra is just like, you know, a 16-year-old kid. He is dead. He is dead. No. You led me to him. No. You failed your friends. That's him. Oh, that's totally him. Kenobi. Yes. 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 You're in the wrong place, Ezra Bridget. Master? Master Kenobi? I am, and when you have your strength, I will be on your way. On my way? No, I came here to find you. To warn you. About more. Yes. Uh, you know? One doesn't survive as long as I have by being foolish or unprepared. <laughs> All is an old adversary and a persistent one at that. We can fight him together. He looks so good. I had no intent. Now the only one who has gained anything from all of this is me. Oh, snap. Here we go. You must go now. I led him to you. Let me make it right. That is not your responsibility. I will mend this old wound. Old wounds? Name dropping the Legends comic where this showdown originated from. I like it. The way home. He's gonna take his due back and all of all of his worldly possessions that are strapped to it, just taken away. Obi Wan this the best has become of you. A rat in the desert. Look at the prison above. I have come to kill you, but perhaps it's worse to leave you here, festering in your squalor. If you define yourself by your power to take life, the desire to dominate, to possess, then you have nothing. What do you have? Kenobi's been spending the last, like, decade just reflecting on himself and getting wise, you know? He doesn't... Maul's been clinging to his hate this whole time. Not simply to hide. Oh, you have a purpose here. Oh, no. Protecting something? No. Protecting someone. Well, you put your foot in it now, Maul. Yep. He was perfectly willing to just talk it out with you, but he's like, nope, you mentioned him, now you gotta die, unfortunately. Alright. Sorosu, Form 7. Oh, we're changing it up. That's Qui-Gon's stance. And he, rec he notices. Gonna, he's gonna fight him like Qui-Gon as a tribute to his old master. Wow. A 
Kira Kurosawa style. Straight up. That was awesome. Is he to be chosen one? He is. He will avenge us. Oh, uh, wow. That's crazy to think about. When Luke and Anakin together finally defeat Palpatine, they're not only avenging Maul, but Savage, you know, Obi-Wan himself, everyone that's been screwed over along the way. That's not what I expected. It's so much better. Wow. He just got another one? He's probably got like an endless supply of do-backs, you know. There he is. Wow. That was a good episode, you guys. All right, lots to talk about there. Um, first of all, a duel. I was expecting a big fight, and I was pleasantly surprised, honestly. If you want to get a full-scale showdown between Maul and Obi-Wan, you can look at the like six or seven different instances that we get him in the Clone Wars, or of course the famous fight in Phantom Menace. This was different. It was refreshing. It was very Seven Samurai inspired. They just, they stood at each other, changing the stances, playing out the battle in their heads, and then in a limited number of moves, bam, 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 and it was all over. God, Obi Wan is so cool. This was the perfect way to bring him back, and I hope we never see him again for the for the entire duration of the rest of Rebels. I hope that was it. You know, less is more, especially when you're dealing with things that are going to later become part of the main canon story. That was really cool. I appreciated that a lot. Um, the animation kind of stepped its game up a little bit this episode. The sand particles, everyone being dirty. Um, the environment for Tatooine looked really good. Really good. The Lars Homestead. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna do some research and look this up later, but I could have sworn that was the original Aunt Beru's voice calling for Luke. Maybe they used an unused take or something like that. Overall, very impressed. Very impressed. Great episode. Can't wait for next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment if you feel like it on your way out. See you next time.